Hi, it's Shannon from No Shelf Control again. I know we've been talking lately about what I've been reading. Well, I had the opportunity recently to um, participate in an activity online where my local library has all of their librarians come online and you can give them three books that you love or three books that you've recently read and they will recommend three or four books that you should read. So I thought that was a lot of fun. I take uh, part in that whenever I get a chance. So whenever I see that they're doing that, it's usually on a Monday night, um, I almost always tee up three books for them to make a recommendation from. So I did that this past week and I thought I would tell you uh, what books I got based on what I've been reading lately. So as you know, uh, the three books I've read most recently are The Mermaid from Jeju, um, The House in the Cerulean Sea, and The Charmed List. Um, and we've talked about all three of those on this channel. So um, I positioned those for uh, the librarians to make some recommendations on, and this is what they came back with. So the first recommendation they made was A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman. Now I had already read this, so they ended up giving me another recommendation, but um, I thought it was a great recommendation because I gave it five stars. Um, I really loved this book. Um, a Man Called Uva was written by Frederick Bachman, as I said. It is about 330 pages, published by Atria in 2014. Um, and it is the story of a curmudgeonly little man um, who makes comments and interacts in a hostile way with all of his neighbors. Um, and you get to know him a little better and figure out what's going on with him and see how the relationship with the neighbors and the neighborhood um, actually changes over time. So many of you may know that they've recently released um, a movie called A Man Called Otto. I think Uva was probably, <laughs> they thought that was too much for Americans to handle, especially since it's spelled O-V-E. You know we would have been running around saying A Man Called Ove. Um, so they have released it as a Tom Hanks movie called A Man Called Otto, and it is out right now. So. I, recommend, I highly recommend reading the book. I loved it. I've loved everything I've read by Frederick Bachman, um, but I would also recommend going out and catching the movie. Um, I'm going to get around to seeing it as soon as I can. So the second book that they recommended is Circe by Madeline Miller. Now, I have not read that one, um, and I have not read anything that Madeline Miller has written. So this one was published in 2018 by Little Brown and Company. Um, it is about 400 pages. I did notice that all the books they gave me were pretty big chunkers. Um, but this one is called Circe, and this is what it says um, about the book uh, on the blurb. So it says, In the house of Helios, god of the sun and mightiest of the titans, a daughter is born. But Circe is a strange child, neither powerful like her father, nor viciously alluring like her mother. Turning to the world of mortals for companionship, she discovers that she does possess power, the power of witchcraft, which can transform rivals into monsters and menace the gods themselves. So this is based on mythology, I guess, as you would assume from the name Circe. Um, and I'm excited to check it out. So um, anything that is an adaptation of something that I read you know, when I was younger, as a child or in high school, um, I'm always really curious to see how the author presents um, a retelling of a, of a classic story. So we'll see how that one goes. The other things that they recommended, the next one is A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Now, that's by Becky Chambers. And I would have to say that based on the cover, I would never have picked this up. Based on the cover and the title, never would have picked it up. I've heard good things about it, um, and I'm really interested to check it out. So it is was published in 2014 um, by Create Space Independent Publishing Platform. At least that's what Goodreads says. And it's about 518 pages, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet um, by Becky Chambers. So here's what the blurb says. Follow a motley crew on an exciting journey through space and one adventurous young explorer who discovers the meaning of family in the far reaches of the universe in this lighthearted debut space opera from a rising sci-fi star. Rosemary Harper doesn't expect much when she joins the crew of the aging way Wayfarer, 
While the patched up ship has seen better days, it offers her a bed, a chance to explore the far off corners of the galaxy, and most importantly, some distance from her past. So interesting, I a space opera, not something I ever would have picked for myself. I'm not even sure I could tell you what a space opera is supposed to be. Um, I am under the impression from some things that I have read and heard that Becky Chambers uses they, down, they them pronouns. Um, so I will try to hold to that as I talk about this book. Um, but I am interested in finding out, you know, I guess on the basis of the fact that I gave them The Mermaid from Jeju, um, The House in the Cerulean Sea, which is magical realism, and The Charmed List, also magical realism, maybe a space opera seems like a good choice for me. Um, I really know very little about this. Um, I know that I had heard a little snippet about it on a podcast um, from someone. I, I can't even remember who. But I'm really intrigued by why the librarians would think this was a good choice for me and what, you know, what it has to offer. So 500 pages, another big chunker. Um, we'll see where it goes. I'll definitely keep you uh, informed about where that turns out for me or how that turns out for me. And then the fourth book that they recommended was The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I've got a lot of long titles this time too. The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. Now, I knew nothing about this book. The cover is kind of cutesy. It looks a little bit like romance. Um, it's the hand-drawn type of cover. And so I'm not sure I would have picked it up, but I'm, you know, I'm open. So here's what the blurb says about this one. A warm and uplifting novel about an isolated witch whose opportunity to embrace a quirky new family and a new love changes the course of her life. As one of the few witches in Britain, Micah Moon knows she has to hide her magic, keep her head down, and stay away from other witches so their powers don't mingle and draw attention. And as an orphan who lost her parents at a young age and was raised by strangers, she's used to being alone and she follows the rules with one exception. So we'll see. I can see based on the charmed list and the house in the cerulean sea why the librarians would think this was a good choice for me. I'm definitely willing to check it out. Um, did I say that this one is about 330 pages by Berkeley Books, published by Berkeley Books, um, and was published in August of 2022. So it is a very recent, uh, very recently published new book. Um, so I'm interested to try that out. Um, I Usually I get books, so I'm not surprised that I got A Man Called Uva. That is something that I had already read. It's right up my alley. Um, but the fact that they picked three other books that are a little different from things that I would have chosen, although the mythology I'm very interested in, um, just on the basis that it's a story I know and I want to see what they do with the retelling. But these other two books, um, A Space Opera and This Magical Realism Society of Irregular Witches, um, are sort of out of my uh, comfort zone. So really looking forward to checking them out. So I thought that I would come here today and give you a little insight into this uh, exercise that I took on with my local librarians and let you know what they recommended for me to read based on what I've read recently. So I hope that those are some recommendations you might enjoy as well, and I look forward to coming back and telling you about them. Stay tuned for that, and I will see you soon. Bye!